Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope all of you are doing really, really well. I wanted to get on here and let everybody know that I received a letter in regard to the problem with City Financial and the letter comes from Resolution Specialist in the Executive Response Unit. Uh, what the letter says is, Dear Madam, I write to acknowledge our receipt of your written complaint received on September 10th, 2015 for information regarding the above referenced customer and their corresponding account with City Financial. Upon the conclusion of our research and investigation, City Financial will respond to your request by the deadline that you have provided. And it says that if we have not provided a requested deadline, which everybody knows we have, I have, uh, that they would respond no later than 30 days following the receipt of our letters. Well, that's kind of hard because they're uh, two months behind already. But I'm curious to see what they come up with. And according to their dating on this, which is September 10th, I'm assuming that's when they, this department, actually ended up getting their hands on the paperwork. And uh, so they're asking for 30 days. And so we'll wait and see what happens on September 9th and see what kind of letter we get. I'll let you guys know. I also wanted to share with you here. Uh, yeah, I like literature. I do a lot of reading. I have the children that read consistently. They all three have their Kindles and they can order books on it, unlimited books, and they all read. Um, I just read a very interesting little story called Three Questions and it's written by Leo Tolstoy. I really like his writing. Uh, the very end of it has a very profound statement. It says, there is only one time that is important. Now. It is the most important time because it is the only time when we have any power. The most necessary man is he with whom you are. For no man knows whether he will ever have dealings with anyone else. And the most important affair is to do him good. Because for that purpose alone was man sent into this life. Really profound. The most important time is now. And the reason that it is, is it's the only time we have any power. I always tell the kids, and you've heard me say this before, I think, that if you were to put an invisible line down the center of yourself, you would find that you have good side, bad side. That's human nature. And the real test in this life and the most important affair, like Tolsoy says here, is to do good. Because for that purpose alone, we were sent here in this life. I've noticed that here on YouTube, people are not just getting nasty. They're getting ruthless and backbiting, uh, testy, argumentative picking a fight, walking around with a chip on their shoulder, daring somebody to knock it off. I just had an encounter tonight, and it really shocked me. I had left a comment 
on a video that was pertaining to the lines in our sky, chemtrails, as they're called by most people, including our government. I think we've all seen that, where they, uh, in the government, they use the term chemtrail in a bill. And the video was about the appearance that planes will sometimes just disappear. You'll see them, you see the line coming from it, the contrail, the persistent contrail, and all of a sudden you can't see the plane. You also see these orbs. Now personally, we've seen them. My family has seen them. And we question them. We wonder what it is. We wonder why all of a sudden you can't see the plane. There could be a lot of reasons for that many reasons, but I got attacked pretty good. In fact, the guy wouldn't even let me get a word in edgewise, which I thought was pretty rude since I was asked to come in and talk. Uh, but that's the, the fired up passion that people are feeling for the things that they believe. We have a real problem accepting the fact that not everybody sees green the say, same way we see green. I mean, what I see is green. I can say, boy, that that is really green. I don't know that you, when you say, yeah, that's green. We may both know something as green, but my green could be this, and your green could be the color green, I don't have anything sitting here green to use. Oh, sure I do. You see green? I see green. But we both know it as green. Now, you could argue and say, well, that's not green. And I could say, that's not green. Because I know this to be green. And you know this to be green. But we both say green. Our world's like that. There's no way to get inside each other's minds to know exactly what it is that we have lived or experienced or felt. You know, but to get mean with each other and to get vile and nasty and down people because they don't agree or they see life differently. We all see it differently. My experiences in life are not the same as yours. I'll bet you couldn't find one person out here on YouTube that has had the exact same life I have had. Now what that life has done is it structured me. It brought me to who I am today. And I've often said I would hate I think the worst thing imaginable is if in front of me, I'm going to use this little bookmark that JD made me, if in front of me there was a curtain and I step out from behind the curtain and you see the curtain now behind me. And we're talking. And as I'm talking to you, you see the curtain rise. And behind me, you see every mistake that I've ever made in my life. That would be so traumatic. Because we've all made mistakes. We've all come to the wrong conclusions. We've all had the wrong idea. We've had the right idea. We've gotten it spot on. Because that's what life does. That's how we learn. It's a learning process. This chemtrail chem thing that has so many people fired up. There's something going on. I don't know what it is. 
I do know that the lines have been in the sky clear back in the 40s. Saw it in National Geographic magazine pictures. And I've got the magazines. Saw it in the 50s. Saw it in some of uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Disney uh, pictures. There have been postcards that showed lines in the sky. Persistent contrails? Have they just gotten heavier? Is it because we do have so much more traffic? You know, I don't know. But I'm not afraid to say I don't know. I can tell you that I don't believe that anybody's trying to kill us with with the spray from from planes dropping out onto the earth is it causing damage you know it, uh, the fallout from this if there are chemicals in it and if there is barium in it and if there is aluminum in it sure it's going to change things sure it'll cause problems it's going to cause problems to earth if nothing else to our water to living organisms, the same as our cars do, the same as our waste does, our landfills, you know, chemical and pollutants coming from businesses. <laughs> yeah, I watched a thing the other day where this uh, bounty or whatever you call them, the uh, forest rangers went and they were trying to catch people that were fishing when they weren't supposed to be fishing and they went to this one lake that this town gets their water from and they caught a guy fishing but the guy that got in the most trouble was the guy that was in the boat with the guy fishing because he was peeing in this reservoir well, for starters, they weren't supposed to fish in this because it was where the city or the township got their water. So there wasn't any fishing allowed. But the worst part was the guy peeing in the water that he was going to have to drink. You know, so the human causes a lot of damage. And we can bicker about it, and we can fight about it, and we can say... I'm right, you're wrong, and, and you're wrong, and I'm right, and, and you're right, and I'm wrong, and we can just bicker back and forth. You can fault me, I can fault you, you know, and vice versa. But where is that taking us? Where does that really get us? What are we focusing on? We have very, very important things to focus on here. And I'm more concerned about what our government is doing rather than what the planes are doing. I'm more concerned about, you know, how we are being with each other, what kind of people we're being. I have no fight with anybody. I see nothing wrong with what anybody's doing. Do I agree with everybody? No. Do I respect? what they're doing? Absolutely. I don't know where they've been or how they got the information they've got. I don't know who's right and who's wrong. Do you really? Do any of us really know? I know in my lifetime, you know, what I thought 10 years ago is not what I think today. What I thought back in 2011 is not what I think today. In January of 2011, I would have said, oh, cool, they're putting up a nu nuclear energy site over here. We're going to have lower uh, electric prices. You know, our, our electricity bill is going to be less because we're going to have more ample power and it's going to be great. And they can save the water in the reservoirs and we won't have to utilize the dam so much. And Whatever I come up with, I could say in January of 2011 that that's an awesome idea. 
the end of March of 2011, I couldn't have said that. I would have said, dear Lord, we have got to stop. Stop nuclear power. So in January, I believed it was awesome. And the end of March, I knew that it was extremely dangerous and that we could have horrible problems from it. Some of you won't agree with that, but that's my opinion. What is your opinion? What is it that you see that you think? That's your private, that is your private you, where you've been, what you've done. That has created your world. We do create our own worlds through our experiences. We can't fault each other and fight and bicker and hate each other. You know, I see channels being shut down deliberately. I see people being just rude to each other. Now, do I believe that mainstream media is lying to us? Absolutely. Found the proof. It's in the bill. Certainly is. Government is telling them what they can say and what they can't say. Everything they say is being scripted. It's got to be approved. That's why all of them are saying the same thing. Doesn't matter what channel you turn to. We're just being duped in, in ways that is wrong. But in other ways, when we get on here and we try and share something we know or something we heard or we're curious about or wanting to know about, is all this bickering really something we need to do? Is that getting close us closer to the answers that we need? No. I'm beginning to think that there is no way to bring us together. You know, maybe we are just by design to fight and dislike one another, to challenge each other, to think we're better than the other. How silly. How silly of us, if that's true. You know, my daddy used to say, God rest your soul, daddy, that if I had a wagon full and overloaded and trying to make it up the hill with that wagon, to use one horse would be cruel and I probably wouldn't make it to the top of the mountain. But if there was a team of two or four or six horses, the more horses, the easier it would be to get to the top of the mountain safely and to get that load there. Teamwork, standing together, unity, working together, accepting that none of us are perfect. None of us have all the answers. We need to quit assuming that the other guy is the bad guy. We need to start working together. This world will never get better until we do. And if we can't do that, we're bringing it on ourselves. You know, I watched the president this morning with the uh, president of China. And they went past this roped off area where all these children were. And I watched the children, all of them reaching out, just wanting to have their hand shook by both President Obama and the President of China. The children didn't hold back with their enthusiasm and their excitement. One little girl that had shook hands with both held her hand like this through the whole thing. You could just see her looking at her hand going, wow. I touched their hand. They were excited. They didn't see that either one of these men 
were any better or any less than the other. They accepted them for who they were and the excitement of the moment. Children see life better than we do. They understand it better than we do. They get it where we don't. And the reason we don't is because we immediately start to compete with each other and look for fault in one another. And that's a hand-me-down poison, by the way. It certainly is. A hand-me-down poison. We shouldn't be fighting with one another. We shouldn't be bickering ab among each other. Each of us has a little bit of the truth. And if we add that like stone soup to the pot, we might get the soup we need. Everybody add their little bit. And we might get to the truth. We just might. You know what, guys? I love you all. Each and every one of you. Even the ornery one tonight. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love. Think about it, guys. Fighting with each other isn't going to fix anything. Catch you guys later. I'll keep you updated on whether I get another letter. Thank you.